during the storm, uh, it happened during the day, and Ruth, who owns this house here, uh, owns the daycare center next door. The day of the storm, I was actually at work. I heard about, you know, we're supposed to have heavy winds. She made a phone call to all the parents, and all the parents came to pick up their children except for one little girl who was four years old. So she grabbed the child, and the daycare center is next door, but the storm shelter is right behind me. And I saw some people coming about, you know, the devastation in Louisville and called my mom, and the phone went straight to the voicemail. The wind took her before uh, she could get to the storm shelter. She, she, she died during, during the storm, but because of the actions that she took, the four-year-old is safe. She loved people, and she cared for people. Then she loved children. She loved her, her children, and she called them her babies, uh, her babies. She was a hero. She was our hero, and she would get a shirt off her back to help you if she could. You didn't have to ask. She would offer. She would. We were here yesterday, and walking around, and we were just like, I don't know how we were going to clean all this up. And we went over to Samaritan's Purse. Uh, before the day was out, they called and told us that they'll be here this morning, so. Oh, uh, they, they've been moving trees, and cutting and picking up limbs, and separating the iron and the tin, and you know, just doing whatever we ask. Glad to be a blessing to help comfort the families and to help restore their homes and help them, you know, get the debris up and, you know, pull limbs. I'm out here to do whatever is needed. Whatever is needed, I'm here to do it. And I appreciate y'all taking the time to come. You know, that means something, just to take the time to come, to, to help. The thing that gave us peace was the fact that she, you know, protected that child, that she pretty much just sacrificed herself and made sure that that child was okay. She protected her. The little girl will live to tell the story because the Lord has a plan for her life. It's a sweet hurt. It's a hurt, but it's a sweet hurt. You know, because when you look back at the things she done, and you can't be bitter. It has to be sweet. It's a ministry of presence. It's a ministry of love. It's, it's a ministry of just sharing the Lord with everybody. The day that I stop crying on a deployment is the day that I stop. Um, because then it becomes just a task instead of a mission.